Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing what I got my nanny kids for Easter this year. And yes, I do a little Easter basket for them because I am just extra and over the top. Everything that I have is in this bag and I'm gonna be going over pricing with you and just giving you guys a little haul and putting the baskets together. So let's do this. This is your friendly reminder that Easter is just one week away from the time that I am posting this. You guys still have time to grab some last minute things. I know that Easter is one of those holidays that kind of just creeps up around the corner. I know of, oh, you know, spring break and the kids being out of school. It just is one of those things that are like the Easter baskets are like the last on most people's list. So hopefully this video is here to help you and to remind you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to give your kids the most thoughtful and great Easter basket. This is gonna be a budget-friendly Easter basket because I'm making two. And this is for my nannies, grandmas, aunties, uncles, dads, whoever that are just trying to give their kids a very nice Easter with not spending a lot of money. So let's get into it. So a little disclaimer, if you are a nanny and are like, oh, I didn't get my kids an Easter basket. I am just extra and do the most for every holiday. I love holidays, so that is why I'm doing this. But let's start off with the baskets. Also, I have two boys and they like to play with the same thing. So I got pretty much two of everything. So everything's gonna pretty much be duplicates of each other. Starting off with these really cute little Easter egg baskets. These are from the Target dollar spot and they were only $1. That's right, $1. And I did manage to get two of the same color because you know, they fight and we don't need any of that. So next I got them two peep sidewalk chalk. I mean, they did kind of break as I was bringing them home, but I kind of expected nothing less. And these were also just $1, so. Next, I got them two bath bombs. My boys love bath bombs. They love taking baths. They love, I mean, I wish I could show you like the bathtub with all of the freaking toys in it. They just love bath bombs. So I got them two of these and these were each $3. Also wanted to mention, don't know if I talked about this already, but all of these things are from the Target dollar spot, except for one thing um, that I'm gonna get to at the very end. But next to go along with the bath theme, I got two bath crayons. They did not have two of the same set of color. Hopefully this is not a big problem, but these were also just $1 and I thought this would be kind of like a good little stuffer. Also really random, but I got two of the little like grass that you put inside of these baskets. I actually don't know if I'm gonna need the grass because I realize that the baskets are a lot smaller than the actual items that I got. So this might just be something that I have for other, for another occasion. But going along with the bath theme, I got these two light up bath cubes. These are awesome. I mean, we have some of them, actually most of them have died. So they're gonna be really happy to get these. These were each $3 and they don't require pretty much anything. You just drop them in the bath water and they activate. They are really, really cool. Next, I got Play-Doh. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Play-Doh. My boys love it. Well, I have an 18 month old and then I have a four year old. My four year old, he loves Play-Doh. My 18 month old kind of doesn't really get it yet, but I will still offer it to him, but I, this will most likely be for the four year old. But look at how cute they are. And these were also just $1. So for three little things of Play-Doh, I think that that's pretty good. I got these little milk chocolate bunnies. Now, I don't know how I feel about, I'm not one to do an absorbent amount of candy for Easter. My mom was never like that. And I know that their mom, she does love candy, but like not that the whole basket needs to be. So I think that this was just kind of like a good, middle-ish ground and these I believe were only a dollar I can't remember I will put the correct price right here um but I believe these were a dollar this is the last form of candy that I got for them just these little M&M minis you know I feel like everybody needs a good M&M and my boys 
this is one of their favorite things. They like little things, you know, like nerds and things that you can kind of just pick up with your hands, not so much bigger candy bars and stuff like that. Found another thing of grass, which again, I don't know if the grass is gonna be used, but we'll see. This is like the last toy item that I got. These little, I don't know if you can tell, but he is actually lighting up. These little fidget toy things. My boys love fidget toys. Like these are like the best car toys. You know, they don't have a lot of pieces. Once they die, they die. Like, you know, they're multi-use. So these are fun. They're little like poppet things and they like stick to surfaces. So I don't know. I just thought that this was really fun. And these were only $3. They were $3 each. Um, so of course got two of them because everything has to be the same. I think the hardest thing that I ran into, cause I shopped last week, was trying to get two of everything that were in the same color. As most of you guys know, the Target dollar spot is very much hit or miss. Um, I seem to have pretty good luck. I shopped with another nanny that was shopping for her three and we were able to get pretty much the same thing, two and three of everything, but it was getting more and more scarce. So if you guys are looking for, you know, last minute things, I would check the Target dollar spot, but also don't be surprised if you are shopping for multiple children that you're trying to get a lot of things for and you just can't find them because I kind of had a tricky time. I know my other nanny friend had a tricky time trying to find three of everything, but whatever. And this is the last thing that I got for the boys. Um, I'm a big pajama girl and when we were in the pajama aisle I immediately fell in love with these. These are actually Carter's and they were only $10 you guys and this is like a soft little like bamboo feel. I'm gonna get a close-up of the print and I was able to get two of them. Um, one for my oldest, he's in a 5T, and then one for the baby, he's in an 18 month. So I thought that was cool that they're kind of stepping up their game for matching pajamas because I know that there was a short period of time where matching pajamas for like babies and older toddlers almost in like six to six X, it was just not happening. So I'm kind of glad that they stepped up their game a little bit. So that is all I got for my nanny kids for their Easter baskets, something simple and fun. And when we were there, I actually picked up my kids inflatable pool, which I'll insert a photo of right here. Um, we don't have a backyard pool. We are trying to get affiliated with a club nearby, but I don't know if you guys know, but we live in an area where the swim clubs are very popular and my nanny family has actually been on the list to be on the, to be in this specific swim club since they moved here and that was almost three years ago so we have been really loving the little inflatable pools that is my psa that if you are an inflatable pool family to go ahead and buy it early because we all know when june rolls around they all sell out and this is kind of like their big easter gift from their parents i was just there to buy it but i wanted to give you guys some insight that it's a pretty cool pool i mean my boys are now big enough that we can have the dual side with the slide um, and i will have that linked below that is also from target but i wanted to give my honorable mention to aldi for some easter finds i was there yesterday just shopping for like regular groceries and you know how much i love aldi for little gifts and trinkets i talked about that in my what i got for my kids for christmas video because i got most of their toys actually from aldi i will insert some footage of their easter aisle and i'm i'm telling you guys it was popping i mean i was very shocked with the amount of things that they had like kind of like a week before Easter. It was pretty good and I just love Aldi. So Aldi is an honorable mention. I would have shopped there. I don't know what I was thinking but I think I was just in Target and in the moment. So that's kind of like my thought process. I just wanted to get everything that I could and yeah but if you guys are still struggling with last minute things and you cannot find them at Target definitely check your nearest Aldi because they might shock you. Okay I'm gonna pack these baskets and then I'll be right back with the finished product. 
Okay, you guys, I'm back in the baskets. Turned out so stinking cutesy. Unfortunately, the pajamas did not fit, but I kind of was expecting that. So I'm just gonna probably like lay them next to their baskets, but I am so happy with how these turned out. They are so sweet and I just love gift giving. So if you guys are gift givers like me and are just so excited for little holidays, then you guys should definitely click the like button and the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any content because I'm a holiday girly. A lot of people that are here are holidays people, so welcome to the fam. Um, but yeah, I like, and I did actually end up using one set of the grass, which you can't really see, so it's kind of pointless. Um, I might use some to like stuff them, but I definitely just, I'm so happy with how these turned out. Eee! Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching what I got my kids for Easter and another PSA or disclosure. This is my personal basket. They're getting baskets from their parents or the Easter bunny. Whatever your family decides to do with that is on you. Um, they are getting baskets though from their mom and dad. So this is just from Nanny Haley and I will be putting their names on the baskets here and like some decals, but I didn't want to put them online. So I am going to do that off of camera, but thank you guys so much for being here and I will have as much as I can linked in the description box below and see you guys in my next one. Bye!